Good morning. This is Kate Jaquie with your Divine Reading. And today is Tuesday. The first card I pulled is the Nine of Swords. This is, you may be feeling a little depressed. Uh, inability to see a way out. Some worries. Be vocal about your feelings. Delegate. Trust others. Release control. And share responsibilities. Ten of Pentacles. This is financial success, stability, material, material abundance. Be persistent in your endeavors. Emerge in the strength. New beginnings. Letting self be seen. Two of Swords. There's a decision that needs to be made or an agreement to come to. Conflict between the heart and the mind. Stay encouraged. Nature, natural foods, discover outdoors, grow and cultivate. Pull the temperance card. This is balance, fight and harmony, self-control. It's all right to indulge yourself every so often. And bathe, take a bath, spiritual bath, calming waters. Visualize cleansing. And I pulled Kundalini Rising. And it says, It's your choice. Ignite your passion for life. Kundalini energy is a non denominational. It's non denominational. It resides within every person, regardless of their culture, religion, or location. Often visualized as a great snake. This serpent of kundalini energy has been coiled around the base of the spine since birth. Awakening the, kudu, the kundalini causes the energy to ignite and rise through the chakras. It lights up each chakra, giving one an energetic boost along its way, continuing towards the higher crown chakra and beyond. Rising kundalini can trigger positive and negative experiences. A spontaneous awakening can be triggered by extreme events in your life, such as abuse, trauma, accidents, major life events, extreme stress, or drug use. Being unprepared can leave you feeling lost in life, overwhelmed, depressed, or fearful as the body and brain struggle to comprehend its intensity, choosing to restrict its movements. In a more controlled environment, Yoga practice, intense energy work, and meditation can also relieve this potent energy. If you have a limited ego structure and are ready to surrender to your kudalini, you will pass through this experience with minimal complications. Ultimately, how you receive this awakening depends upon your outlook on life. Continual spiritual work is recommended now to remove any self-restrictions you may have in your life. Affirmation. I am my own healer. I hear these messages loud and clear. And I put rising sun. A dark face and struggle is over. A new face is upon you. One of hope, glory, light, and triumph. It is one through boldness and persistence. You have been through much and now victory is upon you, beloved. For the divine solar child is a new consciousness within you is born. And that is your reading for today. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching.